Okay, we're back in action, guys. So uh, Bobby V won for game one and uh, appears to have the hammer here in game two. Well, you always like that. Uh, meanwhile, on uh, board number 10, Josh just beat Mark 15-13 in game one. And uh, David Kaitan won his game 15-11 against Eddie V. I'm guessing that was also the first game. And then over wow. here on game 12, it's still a, a big play here. We've got Roger playing Mike Melton, and Mike uh, is ahead 13 to 11. And way over on board seven, Mike Taylor beat Craig White in the first game of their match, just starting game two. Yep. And I think the uh, game with Ghent and Malin, that game is just starting. So they're just they're just throwing their practice weights. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. got a miss over there. That's just, Mike is just not a guy who misses weight. No. Were you talking about, were you looking at board 12? I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, what a nice lag right there. We're not paying attention to our feature board and uh, <laughs> Warren goes up there we and throws We both thought that Bobby had the, right. had, had the hammer. <laughs> I did think Bobby had the hammer. <laughs> One of the real commentators got here. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that first weight go? <laughs> Checking his little speed there. Bobby doing the same. Checking the speed of the board out here early. Warren doesn't want him to get a chance to check it again. He's going to throw a little bit of a shorter weight. No, and Bobby really didn't do much lagging last game. He got out with that early lead. And yeah. Just protect your hammer from that point forward. Another really surprising shot. Uh, uh, we're, we're watching multiple games here, but uh, Roger had an opportunity to to score with one work and ran into his own weight, lagging. It's only oh, scored one. So uh, Mike got out of a, a little uh, bit of a miscue there with uh, only giving up one. Scores over yeah, there just is Yeah, kind of a uncharacteristic frame from, uh, from both of them. Yes. <laughs> Rarely do you see uh, Roger run into his own weight, lagging. And here's the lag from Bobby. It's looking pretty good if it'll slow down. Yeah, oh, slow down too one. fast. <laughs> Warren, Warren thinks that the uh, logos slow down the weights. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard that for years. <laughs> uh, not from anybody who's winning. Yeah. Usually. He's uh, checking his leg. It must be a little bit of a speed difference. Seems like the weights maybe run a little bit more down here. Yeah, and they certainly seem to run the last foot or so. Yeah. Because I've seen quite a few weights, especially right crosses, stop up there or a little deeper, and then in the middle of the board, uh, they seem to be running pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the beginning of the game next door to that with uh, Mark and Josh. They have uh, started that game out right. Josh lagged a three coming down and uh, Mark just returned the favor with a four. It's a nice start to the game over there. Yes, indeed. And I see down here on the bottom left that uh, Schipolini is one of our major sponsors uh, for this year's event. Uh, they just opened up a restaurant in Reno over the summer. They have a 18-foot uh, shuffleboard on the inside of the restaurant and two 22-foot outdoor tables. Wow. Which are open about seven or eight months a year. So That's awesome. And my understanding is they just got a ton of play out of them. That's They fantastic. actually wanted to do a bocce ball court and had some kind of issue with not being able to get quite enough land for it. I don't know much about bocce ball. but uh, That's nothing compared but, to shuffleboard. That's no, boring. But, uh, that's fantastic. Are, are they very close to here? Uh, they're down uh, more towards uh, where the Pepper Mill and Atlantis are on that side of town, but not terribly far. I'm, I'm hoping to get a chance to get down there at some point in time this week. 
it'd be good if uh, some of our people that don't do as well in the tournament <laughs> head out there. They might have a, a good uh, lunch dinner opportunity today. Yeah, I think the outdoor boards have been kind of out of play on this trip. Right, a little, uh, it, little chilly outside. It's not been the, the normal crystal clear skies and right. reasonable temps uh, we normally get, but... Uh, it's not horrible out there. It's in the 50s, but uh, it, it when, has When the sun's out, it's, it's comfortable. Yeah. yeah. But, but certainly a place where uh, we uh, talked a little bit about maybe doing a small shuffleboard tournament slash golf outing kind of thing uh, next summer. That would be, be so fun. Maybe go up to Tahoe, play a little golf, and then come down and play a little shuffleboard. Oh, boy. Doesn't get much better than that. No. Me and Bobby were talking about maybe headed to Tahoe today to, to drive around. It's so beautiful. The mountains have been calling me out my window of the hotel room. So um, Warren's got a little lead here. Yep, they just traded once the last couple of frames. If my math is right, which it has not been so far this morning, this should be Bobby's hammer coming up. It should be. <laughs> he gave that a little bit more of a push than that first one, so that that might get in there. Nope, wait short. Yep. It's those triple crowns. I was going to say that, <laughs> but I, I didn't want to be too self-serving with my comment. I'll do it for you. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Both of them seem to uh, have no problem with either hand on this board, so shooting, shooting well with both directions. Nice stick there right there. Go. Looked like it wanted to hang out there a little bit on the rail side. I wasn't sure it was going to come back. knock this off. Warren was hoping that might move out a tiny bit for him to go around. Probably just waiting for the players yeah. on the uh, adjacent board uh, 12 to finish up their frame. Yep, it was a potentially game-ending lag over there, giving them a little respect and a chance to, to finish their frame out. Here comes the hammer. Well, it didn't take any time with it. No. And that's kind of where they've been. It's kind of where they've been uh, yeah. pulling up on that on that right side. Right cross, left side of the table, right cross shot. Starting off with a little bit uh, of a shorter weight. Yeah, I think uh, Warren is going to be content here to try and uh, give Bobby as few opportunities to practice the speed as he can. Absolutely. We were talking about that yesterday, how often you see this shot um, in uh, this division that we'll throw short weights early to try and keep someone from getting their lag down. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and I've noticed uh, Warren's short weight is much deeper than, than a lot of ours. He throws it around the scoreboard a lot of these times. 
our um, a lot of people when they're throwing their short weight, they really try and throw it really short. But I noticed that he, most of his short weights are right at the the scoreboard. That is a good observation. Um, as I think back, uh, yes, uh, that is a, a, a pattern the, of his. Here's the lag. Wow. That looked uh, pretty good most of the way. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of a change in uh, speed from the last game. Yeah, perhaps. And then the, the the lag previous, I think he was a little more towards the uh, towards the center of the table and came up a little short, and he pushed that one over to the right cross. Yep. Well, Absolutely. looky here. Wow. Really yeah, surprised about that. Warren yeah, is I mean, a, he's a very aggressive player, but there's just no reason in the world yeah. to do that. He's ahead. It's not a great go around, and he also just came up short of that exact shot with his hammer. Bobby's not even going to attempt it. He's just going to cover it. See if uh, yeah, which Warren, you know kind of uh, ties into what you just said. It's not really a great go around to begin with, so there was no reason for Bobby to try it. Wow. Now that was just a, maybe a little bit of a frustration shot right there. Yeah. And you know, just, mad at himself for getting yeah. himself in this position, which is now getting worse. Now, this is unusual. Bobby doesn't shoot a lot of free hands. Okay, that's just another cover. A little cover. I would say covering that weight freehanded is a little easier to, to keep it over there. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Let's see here. He's going to try and stick that middle weight if you make well, the combination. A, yeah, nice shot. That's, uh, yeah. <gasps> that's a terrific shot. Oh, my goodness. So, sorry. I got uh, carried away in uh, the game beside us on game tw board 12. Boy, I sure wish I'd have seen that. Um, so what all happened there. Uh, Roger had the hammer at 14 to 13. He's on 13. Had two or three working. And Mike decided to, uh, he was in trouble, so he went ahead and passed them all. Had a four or a three down there just wide open, and Roger just missed it. So Mike wins that first game. Here comes the hammer. Threading the needle really well right there to score. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah, at, at five to two to bail out of that frame and score points, you got to be really happy. Yeah, absolutely. Mike's a little uh, excited. He's down here. He's pretty excited to win a game there. Yeah, well, <laughs> well uh, Warren and Bobby are kind of slopping around that last frame. I missed, I missed a spectacular finish uh, <laughs> on the board next door. <clears throat> Back to short weights. Just trying to keep uh, Bobby off his lag. He hasn't really figured out the lag on the board yet. And uh, he'd like it to keep him that way. I think that Bobby didn't um, even try to go around in that last frame shows that he doesn't feel real confident with the speed of the board. Well, I think it also might be that they're just, uh, from what I've seen, that there just isn't a really good pass shot where yeah. that weight was. Of course, I, have, I didn't play in the tournament, and I haven't had a chance to watch real close, <laughs> so I could be completely off the mark on that. But, but it is a little bit surprising, being that he was behind and, and you know, yeah. basically had a free opportunity. Especially at, um, at the third weight. He's Bobby's going back to the same here. lane as he lagged last time that it went off. Much, oh, and there he is. made the adjustment, yep. which is, uh, that's what great players do. Absolutely. Very nice three lag there. I do believe that the only two previous winners of this event are playing side by side here. Roger won it several years ago and yep. uh, Bobby a little further back than that. I think for everybody else in the field, it would be the first time uh, if they were successful. Right. Thank you. 
we've had some uh, some big upsets uh, yesterday while they were playing. Kelly um, lost his first first two games. Just did not play. Yeah, well. kind of uh, kind of shocking. Yeah, I and mean, he's uh, won out here several times. It's because he's so excited about his uh, induction into the Hall of Fame coming up. Yeah, I understand he's been working a lot of hours too, which. Uh, oh yeah. Your staff it's, always. It's, it's oh I, yeah. I, prior to the trip, also I guess he's been. Oh yes, he told me it's being a pipe fitter is hot and uh, a lot of work. <laughs> But yeah, definitely props to the staff. The boards are playing really good uh, this year from everything I've heard, and, and they've worked uh, hard as usual. Yeah, they're playing fantastic. Speed of the boards are great. The play of the boards are great. Just really no no one can complain. I made a, a tongue-in-cheek comment that they're running even smoother than last year. <laughs> I heard that yesterday. I just laughed. <laughs> Warren lagged a one there. I always think it's um, interesting when you play a, a straight player like, uh, you have a straight up player like Bobby playing a much more aggressive player like Warren, which one gets to play their game. And so far, it really appears that Bobby is um, keeping Warren from from being able to show most of his aggressiveness. Every once in a while he pops something out, but um, you know, it's uh, two very different styles of play between these two guys. Yeah, and when you do get a little aggressive with Bobby, you always uh, uh, need to factor in that, that he is one of the best uh, players in the game at making combinations or doubles, depending on Absolutely. the term that you like. So. Back to that same short weight strategy on this. We'll see. Yeah. I'm assuming that Bobby's going to lag right where he did last time. Warren giving us a little uh, <laughs> commentary that he would have liked to have stuck that last weight and got it a uh, little Try bit in slide over into Bobby's way. lane a little bit. Threw that one off. Yeah, that was not a... particularly close. I'm a little surprised yeah. there. That's why you see so many short weights in the pro division. Yeah. That when somebody dials into a spot, usually if you don't take that spot away, you can just pretty much count that they're going to continue to throw twos and threes at you. Absolutely. Once you figure out your stroke, it uh, usually stays with you. Okay. Well, if you're going to be hyper aggressive, Got here's an opportunity. An opportunity. And he, he's just going to stick it. Figures he's in the lead. It's the smart shot to make. That rail holds really well over there. Yes, we all remember a very dramatic shot onto that uh, spot last year with Roger and uh, David Williams Jr. Yes. Uh, weight was a deuce, but. Uh, Yeah, these do, these boards do go back in the same place every year. Uh, they have the same sets of legs, so I think that they maintain a lot, of the a, a, a lot of their characteristics. I agree. Now, that's a shot we haven't seen so far um, between these two, that, that far hard cross. Um, it does look like it just stays out there and doesn't move at all. Nice roll there. Yep. Nice deuce. Uh, Bob would probably want to stick this way. Yeah, that should be just perfect. Uh, Bobby shoots a little on the firm side. Anyway, it's his natural shot. He should be able to, if he sticks this, it should be a real small deuce. Perfect deuce. Oh, well, oh as we say, it moved a little bit, but it didn't. Yeah, Very but nice it does deuce. make it. Uh, Look at uh, that weight. In, out, in, out, and finally stayed out, or in. <laughs> 
Yeah, he would certainly have liked to have had a stick uh, dead where it was. Yes. This gives a little bit more of a slide opportunity for Warren. A little easier to keep it in there, but he sure didn't give it much extra. Oof. Uh, he gave it enough. Very nice shot. <clears throat> nice little shot right there. Takes Warren into the lead 9-5. to five. He loves that. Back to that uh, longer short way. Bobby not showing any sense of frustration by just knocking it off. Yeah, some of the more aggressive players might bump that weight, but that's not something that you see Bobby do very often. He did uh, decide to go around here, just checking yeah. up his lag, seeing, if, seeing how close he can get. That's all that is, is a, a lag check. He wants to to make sure that he has that shot there at the end. You certainly want to stick it if you're Warren. Yeah. He moved it out of uh, Bobby's lagging hole, which was not what he was trying to do. Yeah, but I'm sure Bobby wants to leave it right where it is. <laughs> he put it back over there in his, his lagging hole. <laughs> Yeah, I said, I don't think you could slide that weight over far enough to give uh, Warren any problems as far as no, hitting it goes. I don't think so. Really nice oh, shot right there. Really nice shot. That uh, short weight now is uh, a factor. Yes, indeed. Uh, I know that uh, from your previous comments that it does lean a little bit that way. I don't know if there's room to get by there left-handed and stick that weight or not. I don't know if it leans that much. If there isn't, then I've got to believe Bobby's going to lag. Yeah. Yep, didn't even think about it. Just went ahead and right to the lag. He kept it more in the center, which slows up a little more than the nice other side. Nice lag right there. Uh, that's a terrific shot. That looked great out of his hand. Get him right back in that game. Makes it eight to nine. Really nice, nice shot right there. <laughs> See uh, Warren a little, a little upset that he had such a great lag. Says uh, it's nothing easy. I'll be right back to uh, that right cross over there. I wondered if uh, Warren might try that. That rail holds really well, but it's sure, sure a small margin of error there. Get around that weight. Yeah, we have not seen a successful pass shot there yet. Nope. It does look from the from the one that uh, Warren stuck a couple frames ago that if you if you make a good shot, it looks like it's there, but it's apparently pretty touchy. It's a great shot. <laughs> I would have liked to seen that weight stay on. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Um, if it does stay there on the rail, you give Warren a chance to hit and slide it behind yeah. the other red one. Uh, Bobby's weight rolled just enough towards that rail to take away whatever pass shot might have been there. Right. Looked like that's uh, what definitely what he was shooting for is to to stick in the middle of those two weights, not just yep. to hit the, the blue. I'm just throwing a nice safety shot here. Make sure you score with your hammer. Bobby didn't really want to stick that. He's got his end dialed in now, he feels. Doesn't want to give um, any chance that he might lose the hammer from the knee slack. Here's the, the hammer. <laughs> Looks a little slow. Not sure what it is about that spot, but uh, I don't think anybody's gotten one through there yet. It's not the logo. Yeah. So that's actually why I was really surprised that Warren tried to go around that weight a minute ago. He hasn't been Just because it's been, it's been a very low, low percentage shot so far. Right. You know, you make that shot when uh, you're throwing a two or three down there every single frame and you don't have any, you know, every weight you throw is a two or three. But when you're struggling a little bit with your hammer, um, don't usually go around a weight um, if you, unless you're, you know, 
behind, and then that was not the case here. Warren back to his short weights. I'm going to call those short long weights. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to have a new name. I guess we could call them mid range weights. How about that? There we go. Nice, uh, nice go around on that little short weight. Looks like it's a little bit open. Um, Bobby might be able to make a combination there and have yeah. two working, but. I think he can just flat out stick that weight down the left rail. Yeah. It doesn't look like he's even thinking about it. Yeah, he wants oh, to make that combination. Nice call, Jerry. Oh, <laughs> was yeah. would have loved to have seen that weight set up for him. He was uh, hoping that he got a a nice combination there. <laughs> Warren wouldn't uh, mind. He was thinking about. He said he was thinking about passing that weight. That would be to to switch the hammer from end to end. Well, we'll see, because Bobby's had two spots that he's basically tried to lag. One is right into the center, and one's about halfway between center and the cross. Yeah, that nice he's cross He's going back again. to the cross. It's coming in. Oh, nice lag right there. Well, that's when you know that uh, Bobby's dialed in right there. Yeah, Bobby dialed in can be a little scary. Yep. That's where I would say at that point, right with that shot right there, Warren's getting a little bit, um, not nervous, but uh, antsy, saying, okay, I gotta, I gotta do something here. I wouldn't be surprised at all if he um, tries to go around or is really aggressive in this frame if he has an opportunity to. And here it is. I'm also a little surprised that he hasn't tried that for the lag on that end. Freehand, he, yes. He's, he's gone to that right cross a couple of times and come up short. I would think Bobby's just going to hit this one hard. You know, um, one good thing about that weight right there is it really blocks the go around. Um, so he's just probably yeah. going to try and stick it in that spot. Didn't, but I, I would have thought maybe he was trying to stick it so you can't go around it. Warren's going to try the other side this time. Doesn't look like he's got enough speed there. Oh, wow. Yeah, big, big track there. Dry, dry spot. Uh, I think that was from a short weight hit a little while ago. <laughs> the uh, the short mid range. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Covering up that middle a little bit. Okay, well that was a very aggressive uh, touch up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> If they both agree to it, they're pretty much okay with that. But uh, that's definitely something you have to, to agree on in the middle of the frame. Well, this is not what I expected. What a bump. Okay, so that weight actually looks like um, Warren can get it. And now he has yeah, an opportunity right here so. to, yeah, the way the board to lag this. I mean, to roll this. He did not roll it, just stuck it. Um, but even still, he's had a hard time lagging that end. You, yeah. You'd be a little surprised that uh, he may have a chance to just stick for a deuce. Bobby's going to stick that back or try to. And oh, looks like you've got a little roll here. Well, oh. That's a spectacular shot if it stays. Wow, what a well, shot. It probably slid a little further towards the rail than he wanted. It uh, is I'm sure open. that shot is stickable, but by the same token, uh, he probably has not had to stick a shot or had an opportunity right. to shoot at it there. So They've hardly shot this shot at all. And you remember a second ago, he actually threw this off the side. He didn't this time. He stuck that way perfectly. Bobby a little That's upset uh, with that shot. Really nice shot. Yeah, and probably upset with the, with the fact that he bumped at the time yeah. before and just put himself in that position. Yep.
trying to decide if he wants to just hit this weight or again check up on his lag maybe get uh he's just gonna hit it yep warren kind of trying to get in the way of both of his legs lagging lanes a little bit yeah i can see uh, i would think warren he's certainly going to pass this weight Not really an effective pass, though. I mean, Bobby's not, probably not going to shoot at that. I, I would have passed it on the other side, on the right side, and forced him into a different lagging lane. Yeah. Doesn't change his uh, lag at all. Looks pretty good. Yep. <laughs> Warren a little upset oh. with himself that well, he didn't it, didn't block it, but uh, I guess her. I guess it wouldn't be fair to have made our <laughs> comments before the shot, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I know exactly how I would have blocked it. <laughs> Maybe offering that. somebody two is is a good strategy there, but just got to be tempting to shoot at, and that yes. really wasn't all that tempting. No, that was a. Uh, that was a pure, I'm just going to be ahead if he logs off, I'm on 14. Well, he said the frame before about giving him a chance to stick for two, and he might regret it. But, uh, yeah, that's, if you legitimately want somebody to to uh, stick for two instead of lagging, you got to put it out there where it's kind of tempting. Absolutely. I, I, I don't think that he was really, that was his thought in that case. I think he was just thinking, I'm going to pass that way if Bobby lags then any lags off I'll be on 14. Yeah nothing uh, wrong with that but no. it, it's it's yeah. odd that he didn't either throw it way. deeper and, and get in that lane or just pass it just pass yes. it on the right side and force Bobby to lag left-handed. Now a little uh, action here Warren has uh, gone around to wait and uh, Bobby stuck successfully oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little yeah. nervous relief kind of laugh down yeah. there by Bobby. He's, Bobby's uh, like, oh, glad to see that one fall off. Yep. He's All his hard work would have been uh, for naught because he would have been able to just to hit that weight pretty much. Very little chance of sticking it. Now it's Bobby's time to decide how do I get in the way. Surprised that wasn't a little bit shorter to block well, well, this cross right well, here. Well, Bobby actually said go. So I look. I oh, think maybe, maybe he was trying to throw a deuce? a deuce down there. But actually, I, I kind of, you know, he did leave Warren the spot that he's yep. been consistently coming up short on. So Warren not happy that he didn't uh, throw that in there. I'm actually surprised it wasn't a little more aggressive of a lag. Um, I know that Bobby had two working, but um, even if you threw it off right there. You still have the hammer going back. Yep, at two chances to, to lag a deuce. Yeah. Little surprised um, that wasn't a little bit more of an aggressive lag. Now, uh, Bobby's going to just play this straight. I don't know. He might have been trying to bump that up, but I don't think so. He's lagged a two or a three um, in the last yeah. three frames. Yep, I think he'd be quite happy to just have a clear board here. and. Yeah. No, um, yeah, he has not had, not tested. Uh, neither one of them has tested that left cross much. He did not want that to really fall off right there. And there we go. There's Warren trying uh, to cover that, uh, take that spot out of the the uh, shot selection here at the end. Bobby doesn't really want to stick that weight where it's at. He would very much like to move it. Well, if he sticks it at all, Warren's there gonna pass go. it. Yeah, Warren's just gonna pass this weight. And and put it back in the same spot. Yeah, and Bobby's left cross is covered up a little bit too. Yeah. That's, Nicely that's covered a, right there. Yes indeed. I think he learned from his uh, last frame. Bobby has to decide what to do. Looks here. like he's thinking about 
think he's thinking he can go straight down that rail. He's well, been shooting a lot of crosses. Little, probably going to yeah. be a little faster Shoot. if he does. A little faster into a two, three, a three. Really well, nice lagging uh, right there. Yeah. Game. That's a that's pulling a game out at the end right there. Lagging, uh, lagging through it. Awesome shooting. Good games. Good match. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jerry. I enjoyed Thanks. that. And we'll be back for the next.